What's up guys, Nate Petroski from Norway Homestead. I am not on the homestead at all. I've always, ever since I knew the conference existed, always wanted to go to CES, and I finally got an opportunity to do so. And the very first booth I ran to find was Jaggery. It's amazing how Jackery has just really gone from making a bunch of small portable power stations to branching out into home solar. This is Jackery's new complete home power system. They've got these batteries. It's basically just like a wall of power. You can stack a bunch of them up to 123 kilowatt hours. The cool thing is about this whole system, from what I'm seeing, everything can be stored outside. This is IP67, and this is their massive inverter i'm just checking out the sticker and stuff up to 600 volts in mppt voltage range 80 to 520 volts you can bring in a lot of power a lot of high voltage you can connect this to all of your panels it's all wireless bluetooth all that different stuff works with the app and then this panel box also rated for exterior use cool thing about this 200 amp service can go through here it's got a 200 amp breaker but not only that if you do need to run off of a generator charge your batteries there is a 200 amp generator backup so you can run off of a generac or something and that can work on a relay so you can have a generator that will auto start whenever your batteries are at a certain level to actually keep them charged for you so if you just haven't had sunshine for a number of days you're able to actually get that fired up so you don't lose power but yet it doesn't just fire it up immediately because you can be running off of solar especially if it's during the summer or sunny you can run off of your batteries and off of your solar and when you get those weird i live in west virginia so when you get those crazy uh times when you have two weeks without power you have to run a generator because the sun just hasn't shown because it's been overcast this would just do things automatically instead of me having to walk out into the snow and start my generator manually. I love that about this. And something else that's very new and something I'm really excited about. You guys know I love the old school versus new school. This kind of looks like those old clay tile roofs. Well, this is actually a solar panel, but it's not just the type of solar panel that you would put on top of your roof system. This is your roof. This is your roof system. This is designed to repel water and weather and be your roof at the same time. Yeah, it's, it's basically kind of like a shingle tile that produces power for you so if you pair these on your entire roof with all that and they do make them in black too i don't know if they have one here at the show but they do have them in black you could put them on a massive building that's really cool i am thinking about my garage roof and how cool it would have looked in a black roof just like this it's possible i could redo it it's possible but anyway i'm gonna be building a house someday and yeah something that's more more of a classic architecture like this that's actually functional one of the things i'm really liking and i'm loving to see jackery going in this direction is that you can use any other brand generator with their system and have it auto start when your batteries get to a certain level you don't have to buy their generator you're not locked into their only ecosystem you can also use your own breakers in their setup which is really cool you're not forced into you know generic breakers that they have you can use other companies i was able to put my squared e breakers for example into their jackery solar generator 5000 plus system and i was able to just use my own breakers in here which was just really handy. I like when things don't get so proprietary that you can't introduce other things to it, but rather you can make the system your own and tailor it to what you need it to be. Another thing I should mention, I'm off the grid, so sending power back to the grid or anything isn't something that's that important to me because the grid isn't there. However, this system is designed to send power back to the grid so you can sell your power to the electric company if you have one in your area. Well, I really love Jackery and all their power stations or portable ones. Their portable panels are really nice. I really love seeing them move into the whole home backup as well as into the complete home power because that's ultimately where my main focus is, is I don't want to have to pick up and move these all around my homestead. Those are absolutely great for people in RV life, camping and all that stuff, but it's really nice to see them branch out into all this. Jackery is also releasing a 3000 version 2, which will be launched at the first half of this year. Jackery's latest technology makes it the lightest and most compact product in its class. That's probably my favorite product that I'm looking at because it doesn't look like a solar panel. It looks really, really clean and it gives you a stylish roof on top of it. 
Guys, I've loved Jackery for a long time. I love that the fact that they brought me out to CES to check out their whole display and their newest products. If you guys want to know more, check out Jackery's websites. The links will be below right here in this video. Thanks for watching. I appreciate uh, everybody who watches all this stuff and hopefully you guys learned something. And I've learned something just by being here and those solar panels, I'm really liking those and I'll be checking those out in the future. Thanks for watching guys.